Amiga, do you ever feel caught between two worlds? You cherish your cultural background, but sometimes it clashes with the realities of raising a family in modern America. You might feel pressured to fulfill traditional expectations, yet you crave a life that allows you to be your true authentic self. If you're a Latina mom nodding your head right now, I see you and I get it. Balanced Madrehood is more than your average mommy coaching program. It's a supportive comunidad designed specifically for you. I understand the unique challenges you face navigating between generations and culturas while forging your own path as a mama. Stop feeling like you have to choose between your roots and your future. Balanced Motherhood empowers you to create a life that celebrates your heritage, embraces your motherhood journey, and prioritizes your own happiness. Spots are limited. Don't miss out on this opportunity to connect with a supportive community and create a more balanced life. Visit the link in the show notes to join the waitlist for the next Balanced Motherhood cohort. I can't wait to meet you. Welcome to the Viva La Mami podcast. I am your host, Jessica Cuevas. I am a mother of two on a mission to help redefine the meaning of motherhood as a modern Latina mom. Motherhood can be a complex journey, interwoven in two identities that often make us feel ni de aquí ni de allá. Viva La Mami is committed to providing you with knowledge, tools, and support to navigate the challenges and triumphs of motherhood as Latina moms. On the show, we'll be discussing culturally relevant topics that will help inform and empower you in whichever season you are in on your motherhood journey. We'll be joined by Latina moms, experts and professionals who can offer advice, practical tips, relatable stories, and honest conversations. So bring your cafecito as I invite you to be a part of this space as we create comunidad about the exciting and challenging parts of being a mommy. Ahora, vámonos. Hola, hola, amiga. Welcome to the season finale of the Viva La Mami podcast. Today, we're wrapping up our second season with a big gracias to all of you who have been on this incredible ride with me. It's been a season filled with laughter, tears, and lots of heartfelt moments. Before we dive into today's episode, let's take a moment to reflect on some of the amazing conversations we've had this season. From having guests like Ariana Taboada, who is an expert on parental leave, Casi Reyes, an IBCLC who supports mommies in their breastfeeding journeys, Dr. Angie Resendez, a chiropractor who assists with prenatal and postpartum chiropractic care, and Dr. Jessica Kerr, who supports mujeres through physical therapy. Therapy, we were able to gather tools and ways to better our mental and physical health as we prepare for bebe or through our postpartum journeys. We also listen to business owners that empower la comunidad, such as Sarai Imports in Chicago, who were gracious enough to share how they celebrate El Dia de los Muertos, Samantha Sears, an Obama Foundation scholar, who spoke how we can raise socially justice-minded children, and of course, Jasmine Lopez, who shares how we can live an abundant life with a positive mindset, all while raising children. Finally, you all heard the amazing stories of mujeres who shared their unique perspectives and experiences through the Viva La Mami Spotlight series or the VLM Spotlight series. We had the honor of interviewing Ana Calix, founder of Gifts from Liam, an organization that provides education and resources for at-risk communities to help save babies and help families heal after loss. Jess Wins, owner of Airy Rose Skincare and author of Beneath the Skin, which is written for women seeking to grow in their healing and personal development journeys. Emily Daisy Gasca, who shares how we can be mindful when parenting children. And Magali Cordero Dietz, who shares how she reclaimed her Afro-Latina roots through music. 
Y'all, we've covered so much this season. And so thank you to the incredible guests who shared their stories, insights, and expertise with us. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have been able to cover so much content on this second season of the Vive La Mami podcast. And by the end of 2023, we were able to reach over 2,400 downloads. And so thank you, thank you, thank you for all of you who are listening on the podcast or on YouTube, which I started to download all episodes through YouTube as well. And that way we can gather more listeners and viewers. So that way this platform can grow and that way we can hear more voices of Latina mommies. Now, as we wrap up this season, I want to hear from you, our listeners and viewers, if you're seeing this on YouTube, what topics resonated with you the most? What moments made you laugh or brought a tear to your eye? There were definitely some episodes that did that to me. Drop us a message on Instagram and let's keep the conversation going during the break. So in case you're wondering why I'm wrapping up the season of the Viva La Mami podcast is, well, there are two reasons why. One, this mommy needs a break. A lot has happened during the past four months, really since September, since I relaunched the podcast after maternity leave. I think I deserve a break. I've been able to grow this platform, but also on a more personal level, my family has gone through a lot where we just deserve a small break. But the main purpose and the second reason why we're wrapping up the season is because my family and I are going to Mexico actually this week, this weekend, for those of you who are listening on January 9th. We will be staying in Mexico for three and a half weeks, which I am very excited, but also nervous. <laughs> we'll be visiting mis abuelitos in Guanajuato. We'll also be visiting Alex's abuelita in Michoacán. And my parents and us will be visiting La Ciudad de México and Oaxaca. So this will be the very first time we'll be flying with our two little ones. And the first time we'll be going internationally with them as well. Please send us good vibes, well wishes, prayers if you pray, because... I'm a little nervous to be taking two little ones internationally, but also I'm just excited to get away and to be surrounded with family as well as immersing our children in a different culture, different lifestyle, and of course the language. We are raising our kids bilingual, although I would say that they are mostly Spanish dominant. So we are very excited to see Diego specifically, our almost three-year-old who will be turning three in Mexico and will be celebrating his birthday there. And we're just excited for him to interact with the kids there. And so all of this to say that Viva La Mami will be on break, but although we will be on break, the podcast will still run episodes for the next four weeks. These are going to be the most popular episodes of the podcast. Therefore, if you haven't had the chance to listen to them yet, now is the time to stay tuned each week after this one. So that way you can listen to the most streamed episodes of the podcast. I am very excited for you to hear these episodes and I hope you get something out of them. If you do, send me a DM. Now let's talk about some exciting things that are on the horizon. While we'll be taking a short break between seasons, we have some fantastic plans for the future. We'll be exploring new topics, bringing in more incredible guests, and we'll be continuing to build this comunidad of amazing mamas. 2024 is going to be big. So in order for you to hear more about these new and exciting updates, sign up for the email newsletter. All you got to do is go to the Viva La Mami website or through our social media platforms. Links are provided in the show notes. So don't forget to sign up for our newsletter or follow us on social media. Thank you once again for joining me on this journey with me. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for being a part of the Viva La Mami Familia. 
As always, don't forget to subscribe wherever you're listening so that you don't miss an episode. And por favor, don't forget to rate this podcast and write a review on Apple Podcasts so that listeners like you can find this show and build comunidad together. All right, amiga, until next season, stay strong, stay fabulous, and of course, que viva la mami. Thank you for tuning in to the Viva La Mami podcast. If you like this episode, make sure to leave a review and write what episode really resonated with you. If you really loved it, share it on social media or with an amiga. As always, please subscribe to this podcast wherever you are listening. Make sure to follow me at Viva La Mami on Instagram or visit vivalamami.com. Please note the information shared in this podcast is for educational purposes only and should not be replaced by your healthcare provider nor taken as professional advice. <laughs>